So we moved to the Florida Keys a little over a week ago. <laughs> Without this, we would not be able to be in the Florida Keys. I'm not going to sleep with a fan to watch. So a tornado just touched down. <laughs> what are they looking at? We moved to the Florida Keys a week ago. It's been awesome. It's been super sunny, super warm. We've had to relearn things about living in hot climates. In a um, camper. Which is with two other. huskies and two babies. If we weren't in an RV, there's no way we can afford to live in the Florida Keys. We called about 15 RV parks. At least. And what they tell us? They start booking five years out. Yeah, so no availability. State parks in the Keys are all about 50 bucks a night. Private RV parks are 125 to 200 a night. So our first knock on the Florida Keys is, there's very few places to park an RV here, and you can't boondock. You have to plan ahead very far in advance. Like a few years in advance. Yeah. Knock number two. A lot of inclement weather here. So we just got through a terrifying couple of nights. Yeah. So we had blackout chains in our RV. I woke up at 10.30 at night and saw all of these light shows going off behind the curtains. We thought, oh, hopefully our RV doesn't get hit. That was kind of my first thought. Yeah. And then we looked at our phones and we were right in the middle of crazy tornado watch. Do you want chips and sauce? Are you kidding me right now? I'm not gonna sleep with a tornado watch. You're lost. <laughs> Even though we're kind of making some lightheartedness out of the situation. Poor boys are sleeping right now. Mm -hmm. This is actually pretty terrifying. Somehow between going to sleep last night and 10.30 p.m., tornado watch for all of South Florida and all the Keys, especially the Keys. Look at the Doppler radar, and we're just right in the path of a massive storm. Mm -hmm. There's no tornado shelters around here. We have There's a some. fire department 10 minutes down the road from us. There's a bigger storm coming yeah. in like 15 minutes, well, so we'd be driving right No, into the it. bigger storm is already over the fire station. That's what we would be driving into. Salsa. Andrew's nervous eating right now. <laughs> I'm praying just the boys stay asleep and don't pick up our nervous energy. There's nothing that can be done except to sit here and wait it out. The storm is just getting worse and worse as the early morning hours go by. So for about two hours, we were just awake, sitting here, watching the clouds, watching the light show, watching the Doppler radar, seeing that we were about to just get covered in the most red storm of the Doppler radar, and we're in a travel trailer. <laughs> so tornado comes along, we're one of the first things that get picked up along with all the cars and fences and Table, so. Even just hurricane force winds, being in an RV, you feel a lot more than you do in a house. It does look like Key West is getting hit hard, which we almost were in Key West for this, but we are in Key Largo right now. So a tornado just touched down in Key, Big, Pine Big Pine Key, Key. which is a key between here and Key West. One can touch down anywhere. And it's nighttime too, so like you can't see it. Like I mean, there's yeah. only so much you can do anyways. I just but. spent about 45 minutes looking out the window. I'm used to looking at clouds He's from and Texas. seeing how the clouds develop. The dogs are freaking out. Yeah, so them not freaking out. Whenever like the rumbling starts, I think it's a tornado. Like I just get sick to my stomach. Shaking? Or was that an earthquake? No. <laughs> we survived, but look what else is blown in right now. It says lightning all day until five. And some lightning just hit right nearby. I'm gonna jump in the truck. trying to live a healthier lifestyle. But I didn't start my run until like 12.30 in the afternoon. I was like, you know, we'll just make it easy peasy short. I'll just do like a little one mile loop, get the kids out of the house for a second. Run, 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 run. Good job. <laughs> it very quickly turned out to be a disaster. I saw that it was not gonna be a safe situation if we did the entire loop that I had in my mind. Just in that little short distance, it like I barely made it home. Got back to the camper, crawled my way through to the shower, realizing our entire water supply is boiling hot water. Filled up our entire gray tank with just boiling water, waiting for hopefully some cold water to come through. But now everything is starting to back up because our gray water is full. So, I've just been drenching me and the boys with refrigerator water. Ah. One of those things we definitely just did not think about with living in a camper in a really, really hot climate. 
our water supply is from a long hose, but all that comes out is just boiling. It's like a hundred degrees. Boiling the water. water is hotter than the air outside. Mm -hmm. If you are not leaving the house, especially with kids, to go to the swimming pool, to go to the beach, somewhere that you're gonna be in water, it's really too hot to like go out and do anything. Midday, yeah. I guess we came down here with the impression, with the understanding that there are a lot of beaches in the Florida Keys. Wrong. There are beaches. Some are man-made. Very few are natural because we're on Keys, which is a coral structure. So there's actually no true sandy beach. I hop on Google Maps and go to a, want to go to a beach and it's in a private gated community or it's in a private resort or somewhere you got to pay to get in to go to the beach. And then the few public beaches that are here, you do have to pay about 10 bucks every time to go to the beach. Right. Majority of like the parks and things like that that have beach access that are free or maybe less of a cost uh -huh. is just a sheer drop off into the ocean. We did go to Key West a couple of days ago. A little bit of a different story. You still have to pay for entry to the beaches, yeah. but there's more. There are more beaches. Yeah, yeah, there are more beaches down there. Slight change of plans. We are at now Fort Zachary Taylor Beach. Seven bucks to get in. Let's see if it's worth it. What are they looking at? The birds. The birds? Why are they acting like they've never seen a bird before? These are new birds. New birds? These different birds. Yeah, that water looks gorgeous. on this beach today, so there's actually quite a few waves and the swell is pretty strong. Kai cannot understand the concept of walking into the ocean. He has to crawl and he just keeps getting mouthfuls of seawater, so that's been a little frustrating with him, but we're working on it. And then sadly, the waves are too big for you. The waves are too big for you. For perspective, mm. We've been living in Alaska for three years, and in Alaska, pretty much the only things that are gonna kill you are moose, moose bear, that's it. But the cold, stuff like that, right? But as far as animals and critters that are gonna affect you, moose and bear. Here in Florida, you can't run the list down fast enough. There's snakes, spiders, scorpions, and scorpions. Scorpions. You never know when there's an alligator or a croc nearby. There's also things down here like poison wood, which leaves permanent skin damage on people if you touch it. Uh, if you burn it and breathe it, that's even worse. We're getting you know, right into the season of apparently what's called a blister beetle. You slap them like you would a fly or a mosquito, the poison actually gets on your skin and creates an actual pus-filled blister. And that's terrifying to think of when they fly in swarms and Kai could just be like doing this and then ends up just covered in blisters. Majority of people come down to Keys to the Keys for a vacation or for maybe a longer term yeah. stay and they're totally fine. We have not had any issues besides some fire ants and yeah. no seams. Yeah. We thought it, we'd do our due diligence with this video just to bring a little bit more reality and things that yeah. you might not think of when you're yeah. RVing down here or even just vacationing down here. So if you like travel and unconventional RV, unstable living, please think about, <laughs> think about subscribing to our channel and we'll see you in the next video.